Chapter 2 Column Design A column is a vertical structural element in the reinforced concrete structures which is used to connect between different levels of the buildings. It is used to carry the loads from the beams and the slab and transfer the load down to the foundations. A column is primarily a compression member carrying the vertical loads from the upper story while resisting the reactions from the foundations. Depending on the layout of the structures, a column may also undergo bending forces. Taking this as an example, there are beams at four faces of the columns. Assuming the beams are having an identical effective length with same magnitude of loading, this column will undergo pure compressions. The fixed end moment generated by the beam at the end of the columns will cancel out each other. Let us look at this arrangement of the beams. There are beams at both sides of the columns. The fixed end moment generated by the beam acting on the column can cancel out each other. However, on this axis, one side of the column having beam while the other side do not have it. This leads to a moment rotations of the columns in this axis. And in this case, the columns is undergoing compressions and a single axis moment. Let's say now we look at the corner column here. There is a beam on this side and there is another beam on the other side. This arrangement of the load will generate moment rotations in these directions as well as in these directions. This leads to a situation that the moment undergoing compressions and moment in two axes. In general, the moments are designed for the compressions and depending on the layout of the structures, moment can act on the columns. In terms of the design of the column, the analysis of a section subjected to the axial load and the bending concurrently can be quite lengthy and tedious. This made the design of the column to become impractical through manual calculations. Therefore, the design chart and the computers are always employed to facilitate the design process of a column sections. This is a typical design chart being used for the column design, which will be discussed later in this chapter. In terms of the design, we are looking into these different aspects of the design. This involves design in terms of the ultimate limit state for the loading acting on the column, including the compressions and the bending moment, the deflections, the cracking, detailing of reinforcement, and also adequate cover.